Hi, she was seven. I'm back. Okay, so we're gonna get into it again today. We're gonna start talking. We're gonna start talking about it again, you guys. Okay, because I have too many people coming to me confused. And a lot of them are guys. They still don't get it. They still don't get it. They're having lots of problems in their relationship, and they're not putting it together. Okay. They think the problem is something that they just can't figure out. They think that, you know, why is she acting like this? Why is she still texting other guys? Why is she still doing this? Why is she still doing that? How come she doesn't? Okay. Women like successful men, point blank. We like powerful men. We like men who have accomplished something in life. We have men who can do things for us we like men who have their stuff together okay if you don't have any of that going for yourself you're gonna have women troubles that's just it okay um <laughs> unless you go for women with low self-esteem who will accept you just as you are at your current state and just want a relationship with you but usually guys do not want those types of women they want the type of women who want the men who have something going on for themselves, okay? So, let's talk about it. And a lot of guys are in my comments talking about, well, why should we pay for stuff and do stuff for y'all when y'all have equal rights and equal pay? Well, let me ask y'all a question. If I have a, a friend and she's rich and her husband's rich and she uh, says, hey, let's meet out for lunch, am I supposed to expect her to pay because she has more money than me or she makes as much money as me or just because she has money am i expected to just hand her over my bill and say hey you're rich you can pay you know no it doesn't work like that okay now let's pretend she was a man who asked me out let's say he's super rich but I also have a good career and a good job you do you think he's gonna ask me to pay or ask a woman to pay when he has it the only kind of men who are going to ask women to pay are the broke men who cannot afford to date they shouldn't even be on the date okay now a lot of people are going to ask me well why can't they split the bill what's the big deal about it? they're just getting to know each other this is the dumb dumbness that comes through on certain people when they ask this question because you're a date is an interview do you have the financial stability to take care of a woman, a wife, a child, if I like you enough to see you again and again and again and again and again and finally marry you. Do you have that? Okay. I need to I need to know because if you're pinching pennies, if you're, you know, stingy, that's how our marriage is gonna be. And the number one cause for divorce is money. So no, I can't I can't date you. Okay? And most women won't, you know. Um, the next thing, you know, a guy, a guy in the comments, I don't know, they would say, well, y'all need to take care of yourselves and worry about yourselves and stop trying to leech off of men. First of all, women don't leech off men. Men leech off women emotionally. <laughs> they, you know, you, you need sex from us. You need this, you need that. Okay. We lose more by dealing with men than men lose by dealing with women. Okay. So we like to be compensated for our time and our efforts and our presence some might call it entitlement but a smart person will call it an energy exchange okay i can't i'm not doing i'm not doing anything for anyone that i'm not getting anything in return for okay nothing um and that's just me i'm just not that type of person um and then people will say, well, what happened to love? These women are all just materialistic now. Da, da, da. Well, I've seen a couple who were homeless together and they were in love, but they were homeless together. Now, I'm not trying to bash the homeless people, but I can't be in love with someone who can't love themselves enough to get financially stable, okay? I can't love you if you can't love yourself. And those people who, you know, who strive to achieve things in life and you know make something out of themselves really love themselves if you don't love yourself and you don't strive for success in some type of way in some area 
then why are you here? You know, and a lot of guys are going to say, well, you just don't do anything. You're lazy. You sit at home and your husband works. I'm sitting up here making a video. Okay. I took time, put on this makeup, do this hair. I got to upload the video, edit it, put it out, read y'all's troll comments, try to answer back if I feel like it. So I do work. This is my job. YouTube is my job. I get paid through YouTube. Okay. I have four YouTube channels, not just this one. Okay. Plus I do other stuff online on the side that makes way more money than my youtube channels okay i don't even have to get dressed if i don't want to not from the waist up down anyway because <laughs> this is all y'all see so yeah and all that money is my money okay that's my money that's my spending money that's my shopping money that's whatever i want to do that's my kids college money they're already you know on a trust but that doesn't have anything to do with it. That's my money and I get to do whatever I want with it. Why? Because my husband can pay, basically pay for everything else. I don't need, he doesn't need my help. <laughs> what would he look like coming to me asking me for some money, right? Uh, like, oh, uh, can I borrow? When he makes way more. So it doesn't matter. Uh, I think it's only those guys who are stuck and can't move up or worried about, you know, never being anything in life and so they have to watch their money they can't be like certain men who can splurge and spend money on dating and and you know impress women and stuff like that they can't do that they can't afford to do it okay so you know what, what would you do of course if i was that type of man i would be upset too and i would talk about women too because i couldn't have what i wanted okay but gentlemen will always pay the tab if they don't have a lot of money and they're still a gentleman, they will save up until they can actually take someone out and show them a good time, even if they're poor. And the sad thing is that they would appreciate it more because they know you don't have a lot of money and that makes them feel even more special. Okay. So if a guy who you know is not super rich or don't have a lot of money, saves up to take you out and you know splurge on you and show you a good time this is the kind of person that will sacrifice for you you know what i mean so this is a this is the type of person who will put you first and put your needs first rather than you know it's all about me and you make money you need to pay uh, 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 uh. you know i'm not doing that uh, 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 you know I have to pay bills. I have to pay my rent. You make money. Why can't you pay? Uh, like a little kid. That's that would be like dating your younger brother. Okay. Ugh. Um. So, <laughs> if a man is not dating to impress you, then he's not trying to marry you. Okay. If a man is not dating you to impress you, he is not trying to marry you. So don't even waste your time. If he's trying to take you to coffee, to McDonald's, uh, through the drive-thru, asking you to pay the bill, he's not your husband, okay? No. So, ladies, don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. Don't offer to pay. Try to look like you all that because they're going to take you up on it and then you're going to be paying for everything all the time. Don't do it. Act broke. All my money goes to savings and student loans. Make something up. I don't care. But you don't need to be paying because when you're dating, the man is courting you. The man is courting the woman. If you ask a man out, if you ask a man out, then yes, woman, you pay because now you have taken the lead role, the masculine role to asking the person out. And now you have to pay, okay? So if a man asks you out, they pay no matter what, okay? And make that known before you even go out. You're paying, okay? And you can do it in a joking way and see, you know, if they act like, if they get serious on the phone, oh, like, okay, uh, I'll be, I'll meet you there. So uh, thanks for treating me to dinner. And when he texts back, uh, you gonna pay half or uh we're going Dutch or uh or if he don't say nothing at all and he looks at you when the check comes, say thanks this is what y'all do, Lace. Thank you so much for treating me to dinner. This was so nice. 
they're not going to say, oh, no, you got to pay half because you're sitting there batting your eyes, looking at them in their eyes, saying it loud so everybody can hear. And when if he turns you down, they're going to be listening and watching and he's not going to be able to do that. So that's how you get it. OK. Thank you so much for treating me. I, I just enjoyed this dinner so much. The waiter was so nice. You're going to have to give him a good tip. <laughs> Okay, because then he might ask you to leave the tip, so just throw that in there too, you know. Um, <laughs> I remember when before I got married and I was dating, I was going out with this one guy, and it looked it literally looked like it hurt him to spend money. Like every time the bill came or the drink bill came or whatever, it just looked painful. It was like taking his money out of his wallet, like. you know slow like it was hurting him so what by watching that i knew i couldn't date him i was like Ugh. it made me sick to my stomach because i knew he was reaching into his rent money and I, I, that was the last time i saw him because i didn't want him to be homeless so i left never called him back i was like thanks thanks but you're too uncomfortable spending money and it's just gross to me because i don't have anything to give you in return and for a couple of months and so I can't deplete your bank account <laughs> so yeah ladies if you're trying to date a guy and he's like broke leave him alone go find somebody else because you're doing him more of a favor by leaving him alone he won't have to spend money on you he can save his money get his priorities together get his money together pay his rent and stuff like that if you're gonna go for a guy with money make sure they have money and they have lots of money and they don't miss it and it's not a big deal to pay on a date and it's not a big deal to splurge and go shopping and whatever make sure it's not a big deal because if you're dating a guy and it is a big deal that's gonna put pressure on the relationship you know it's gonna make you start feeling bad for him and then wanting to pay you know it's gonna make him feel like the child or like you know, you're going to start feeling sympathy for him. And if you're dating someone, that's not what you're supposed to be feeling. You're not supposed to be feeling sympathy for him. You're not supposed to be looking at him like a child. You're supposed to be looking up to him, admiring him, how masculine and sexy and, you know, stuff he is. Not how needy he is, okay? And not what he can't do for you. He's supposed to be impressing you. If he's not impressing you, y'all aren't dating. All he's doing is seeing you a few times before y'all have sex okay that's it that's all y'all are doing so ladies if you i'm telling you never pay on a date if you pay on a date you messed it up unless it's his birthday or something or you're celebrating like a promotion that he had and anyway men who get promotions usually celebrate and pay because now they have the money so unless it's like a special occasion and you're just trying to treat him never pay on a date ladies most like relationship gurus will tell you that never pay on a date you will devalue yourself you will devalue yourself okay men i don't care what you think this i don't care what y'all think i'm sorry you can't afford to pay for dinner you don't need to be dating okay to the real man they already know you got to pay. It's automatic with the real man. They already know. That's just before they even open their mouth to ask you anything. They look at you up and down. Look at your clothes. Look at your hair. Look at your nails. They say, okay, this is this woman I like. She likes classy things. I know if I ask her out, I'm going to have to come correct. I'm not, I can't ask her to go Dutch because she's going to look at me crazy. I cannot you know take her to this cheap restaurant because she'll never call me again so if i want to deal with this type of woman i have to come correct okay most men will not approach you if they cannot afford to date you now some stupid men will and they will waste your time try to use you and leave you upset and mad at yourself okay so never pay for a date unless you want to learn a valuable lesson in life okay ladies just take it from me and i know some of y'all women are going to come up and say well i pay for stuff for my man then he pays for this and then he pays for that and then i pay for this and then i pay for that and then, you know that's fine you know i'm not 
bashing anyone who has someone and they have a working payment plan I don't care that's 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 how y'all's marriage is gonna be okay and if that's fine with you that's fine but if you can feel good about that in the relationship and that continues and you're fine with it then great but to me I think it feels very comfortable not to have to go like you know tit for tat it should just be you know like that you know I just I don't know I just I don't feel like I, I should have to buy him something for him to buy me something for me to buy him something for me to pay for this and him pay for that it's kind of like you know this is a an adult relationship not a teenage relationship you know what I mean sorry y'all I got cut off okay so basically ladies I know some of you are gonna say well I have a lot of kids and it's hard to date and find a decent guy and uh, I don't look this way and you know the way guys think women should look and I don't have that opportunity to you know date someone that's always gonna pay and treat me nice because I don't feel like I'm all that and I just have to take what I get that's a bad attitude to have okay no matter what a woman looks like or how many kids she has there's always somebody out there that is willing to pay for her dinner okay I'm sorry but there is um, a lot of times uh, women will go for someone out of their league as well um, if you don't if you you know if you know you're not the best looking thing on the block don't try to date the best looking thing on the block okay go for someone who looks almost the same as you or worse okay and I'm just being real if you look better than the guy you're dating, chances are he's going to pay for your meal, okay? <laughs> if you look better than the guy you're dating, chances are he's going to accept your children, okay? You have to use your brain in this one, okay? This is common sense. If you date somebody that looks good and can get better than you, he doesn't have to accept all the stuff that comes with, with you. Do you know what I mean? Now, just because he doesn't look a certain way or whatever does not mean he's not successful, okay? So you have to keep that into consideration. Um, and a lot of men, you know, that's how they date. They will they will not date a woman who they cannot afford to date, you know. They might try and learn a valuable life lesson, but then the next go around, they're they're going to tone it down a little bit and say, "Okay, I'm I want a serious relationship, so I know I can't base this on looks anymore. I have to look for this, this, this and that." And, you know, that type of woman is going to expect a little less than another type of woman would you know what i mean so he's going to have a better fit and the woman is going to have a better fit a lot of times when we look and see out of our eyes and see people attractive rich have money feel like that they're going to make the perfect wife or husband we're kidding ourselves we have to look at reality you know this might not be the most beautiful woman in the world, but she'll love you and she's not going to demand you buy her Gucci purses, but she might ask you to pay, you know, the mortgage. Now, this man over here, he might not be like the sexiest man in the world, but he's going to pay for your dinner and he's going to treat you nice and he's not going to do this, 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 and that to you and make you worry all the time because you know he can do better. Okay? So stay within reason people when y'all are trying to date there are these certain people who just are delusional very delusional and are trying to date way out of their league and when they get shot down they just hate everybody after that i hate all women because the woman i wanted shot me down or i hate all men because the man i dated dogged me out yeah because you picked the wrong one and you didn't use your brain and you didn't use logic to choose your partner a lot of people base a relationship on emotion which is temporary and you know a physical attraction which will get old after a while because you see the same person every day so I would base it on logic if anything because if you base a relationship on logic okay what what can this person do for me what can I do for them that will be an even exchange, but I can get exactly what I want and they can get exactly what they want. 
This is logic. This is using your brain. Now, someone who makes decisions about a relationship with emotion, it's like, oh, he's, you know, and, and their eyes, oh, he's so cute. He makes me feel so good. I love him. I don't know what I'll do without him. I'll do anything for him. I'll even pay for everything. I'll, he can borrow my car, you know, because he, and then you'll, you'll have a, a man who sees this beautiful, gorgeous woman and, um, he was like, oh my God, I'll do anything for her. She's so gorgeous, I just wanna date her and blah, blah. And then when, when they get their hearts broken, then they hate, they, they're mad at themselves really. They're not really mad at women or men in general. They take it out on them, but really they're just mad at themselves for being so stupid and picking this type of person, okay? Um, unless there's an even exchange and both parties are happy and they understand the relationship, then that's that's good you know if they don't then it's bad you know when I got into my marriage and my relationship it was understood it was like okay you know you're gonna pay all these bills right I'm not gonna work you know that right agree agree bam you know it wasn't a trick it wasn't an illusion I was straight up and I always encourage women to be honest um, you know you can use a little trickery here and there but when it comes down to it, when you know, to the person you're spending your life with or you're going to seriously date, you need to tell them your expectations so that you don't waste time. And then once you tell someone your expectations and they agree or disagree, then that frees you up. It also makes them think, you know, maybe I do need to improve myself so that I can have a decent relationship with someone like her because her demands are, you know, this, this, and that, and I can't meet them. Therefore, I shouldn't be dating a girl like this. So I have to either down, you know, down a notch. I have to go down a notch or I have to get myself up, you know? So it's a life changing thing to date certain type of people. And if you're not learning these life lessons, you're doomed to repeat them over and over and over and over. And when you see their next girlfriend or their next boyfriend and how they're getting treated versus how you are getting treated, you're going to be upset. Okay. You're going to be mad and you're not going to want to see them happy. You're not going to want to see them together. And you're going to be upset that you let this person take advantage of you while you're watching him give her everything that he never would give you or, or vice versa. You're watching her look at this man and respect this man and treat this man like a god like she would never do to you you know what i mean so you got to understand people dating is a game if you use logic in a game you win if you play a game full of emotions you're gonna mess up you're gonna fail you're gonna you know i know y'all guys out there playing video games if you play with logic and you know all the codes and the, you know all the information on how to play the game right and da, 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 you're gonna win if you're playing with no logic no information and just playing you know on emotion how you feel and what you think you should do next with chances are you're gonna lose okay so you need to prepare think logically when you enter into a relationship it is not about emotion that is natural Physical attraction between man and woman is natural, okay? That's natural. That's that's automatic. That's already there, okay? Logic now and thinking seems to lack in relationships. So I'm going to leave it at that, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.